In today's video, I'll show you how to set up your Unity project for VR development using Unity's own package called as XR Interaction Toolkit. So let's get started. Now to download the Unity editor, you need to visit their website unity.com and click on download. Here scroll down and download Unity Hub for your OS. Once you have it downloaded, follow its setup guide and install it in your system. Next open Unity Hub and create an account. While creating, you can choose the free license. Once that's done, you can sign in with your account. Agree to the terms and conditions of your license. Click on the Installs tab, click on Install Editor. And from this window, you can choose to install the latest version, which is usually the recommended version. However, if you want to install the same editor version that I'll be using for this video, then you can go inside Archive, click on Download Archive. From this page, select the year 2022. Find the version 22.3.28 F1. Click on install and click on open in Unity Hub. From this window, you'll have to install the Microsoft Visual Studio and the Android build support, including OpenJDK and Android SDK NDK tools. Once you have selected all of them, click on continue, agree to the terms and click on install. Once you have your Unity editor installed, you can create a new project by going inside the projects tab, click on new project. From this drop down, make sure that you have selected the right editor version and from the list of templates, select 3D core built in render pipeline. Give your project a name, choose your project file location and you can choose to connect to Unity Cloud and use their version control or choose not to and click on create project. Once you have your Unity project open, you can go inside file build settings and based on whether you want to develop your app for a PC VR headset or for a standalone headset, you can choose the platform as Windows or Android. Since I'm building it for my Quest 3, I'm going to choose the platform as Android and click on switch platform. Once that's done, you can close this window and now we can download the packages that allows us to develop for VR. And to do that, you can click on Windows Package Manager. From this drop down, select Unity Registry and search for XR Interaction Toolkit. Now before we install this package, if you're seeing that the version is starting from 2, it means that it is showing you an older version. So to install the latest version, you can copy comp.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit and click on the plus symbol, click on Add Packages by Name, paste it over here and click on Add. And now this will install the latest version of XR Interaction Toolkit inside your project. While installing, you'll get a pop-up warning saying that a new input system has been found and if you'd like to enable it, so click on Yes. And here we have the latest version of XR Interaction Toolkit installed. Next, select Samples and import the starter assets. Scroll down and import the XR device simulator as well. While importing the sample packages, the project settings window might open. Go ahead and close this for now. We'll get back to that later on. Then select XR plugin management package and install that. And finally, search for the open XR plugin and install this package as well. With that, we have all the packages that we need. Now to set up our project, you can close this window, click on file, build settings layer settings. Here you can give a name for your company, a name for your product and inside the other settings you need to uncheck auto graphics API. Scroll down, enable override default packages name, set the minimum API level to Android 10, change the scripting backend to IL to CPP and check ARM64. Then you can select the XR plugin management and in the Android tab you can select open XR and inside your PC tab as well, you can select OpenXR. Next, select the OpenXR tab and here we need to add the interaction profile. So click on this plus symbol and based on the device that you're using, you can add the interaction profile. Now, since I'm using the Quest devices, I'm going to use MetaQuest Touch Pro controller profiles. I'm going to add the Oculus Touch controller profile. Then go inside the Android tab and do the same here. Next, select the project validation tab and here it will give you a list of all the issues and recommendations. You can easily fix this by clicking on fix all. Then click on the PC tab and make sure that you have zero issues here as well. With that, we have set up our project for VR development. And now to make sure that we have set it up correctly, what we can do is close these windows, go inside starter asset and open the demo scene. Connect your headset using Link or AirLink and press play to test it. And here, if you're able to see your virtual environment, use your controllers to move around and interact with object. It means that you have set up your project correctly. And now you can go ahead and set up your own scene. And to do that, you can go inside scenes and open the sample scene. Here, select the main camera and delete it. Right click on your hierarchy, select XR and add the XR origin. 
Now this adds the XR interaction manager with the XR interaction manager script. This script manages all the interaction between your interactor and the interactable. And then we have the XR origin VR, which has the XR origin component, which keeps track of the XR origin game object, which is generally itself so that you can use this to manipulate it using some locomotion system. And then it also keeps a track of the camera offset when the tracking origin mode is not specified or if it is set to device. However, if you set the tracking mode as floor, it will automatically track the flow that you have calibrated and it will set the height. Then it has the input action manager, which has the default input action asset. So if you click on this and double click on the XR default input actions, it will open the input action editor. And here you can see the different actions and the buttons that it has mapped to. For example, if we select the XRI left interaction, the select action has been mapped to the grip button. The activate action has been mapped to the trigger button. Similarly, if we look at locomotion, then to move around, you can use the primary 2D axis. Now, if you want to change the input action, for example, if you want to move using the secondary 2D axis, you can do so from the binding properties. So from the path, you can select the XR controllers. You can select left hand since it is left hand. You can select usages and here we have the secondary 2D axis. And so you can use this window to change any input actions. And then we have the camera offset and a main camera as a child of this game object. Now at this stage, if you press play and test it, you'll be able to see your virtual environment, but you'll see that your controllers are not tracked. And to add controller tracking, right click on your camera offset and create two empty game objects and name them as left controller and right controller. Then select both the game objects and add the track post driver input system component. Here we need to reference the position input action, rotation input action and the tracking state input actions. Now before we do that, you can click on these three dots and use reference for all three of them. Next, select the left controller, click on this button and here search for position and add the XRI left position and for the rotation, you can search for rotation and add the XRI left rotation. Similarly, for tracking state, you can search for tracking state and add the XRI left tracking state. Now do the same for right controller. And here you can see that I've added XRI right position, XRI right rotation and right tracking state for the right controller. At this stage, the controllers will be tracked, but you'll not be able to see them. So to add the visuals in your project window, search for XR controller, select the XR controller left prefab and drag and drop it inside left controller, select the controller right and drag and drop it inside the right controller. Now before we test it, let's go ahead and create a floor by creating a 3D plane, reset its position and change its material as well. All right, now you can save the scene and press play. And here you will see that your controllers are tracked and they're animated as well, which is super cool. But there's one issue that I see and that is if I try to touch my physical flow, I'm not able to touch the virtual flow. And to fix that, you can exit the play mode. Select the XR origin VR and change its tracking origin mode from not specified to flow. And now if you save your scene and test it, you will see that the virtual floor matches your physical floor. All right, so with that, you know how to set up your Unity project for VR development. Now, if you want to set up your scene for hand tracking, then check out the video that's linked above. But generally, the next steps would be to add interactions like grab interaction, poke interaction and ray interaction. Don't worry, I've got you covered here. You can check out the playlist linked somewhere on the scene, which will help you with your next steps. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.